The monopod is one of my favorite tools for filming live events because you can get great stabilized footage on the go with minimal setup time. But you may not have realized that there are a lot of cool tricks you can do with your monopod that mimic movements from other filmmaking equipment. So I'm gonna show you seven monopod tricks that I actually use for filmmaking. And to prove it, I'm gonna take you through using each of these techniques for a 40 second sequence using only a monopod that I'll show you at the end. And let me know down in the comments which techniques are new to you. Tip number one, the extender. This one is very useful for getting overhead shots without having to set up a complicated overhead rig. Simply extend the monopod to the height you need and use your leg as a base to help stabilize static shots. Or you can hold it with both hands and move around for more dynamic shots. Add a little stabilization of post and you have a new camera angle to make your video more interesting. Tip number two, the twister. For this trick, retract your monopod leg to its most compact form and simply move your monopod 90 degrees or more depending on how far you want the shot to spin. This can be useful for following someone falling down or getting up off the floor or a bed to add some interesting movement to your videos. Tip number three, the steady cam. Extend the base of the monopod to provide more control and grip lightly under the monopod head while walking to get smoother footage. Another option with monopods that have feet is to turn your monopod upside down and hold lightly under the feet while doing the ninja walk to get gimbal-like footage close to the ground. Just keep in mind that your footage will be upside down, so you'll have to be sure to flip the footage 180 degrees in post. Tip number four, the slider. First, rotate the base plate 90 degrees on your camera and then attach it to the monopod. Rotate the monopod head 90 degrees, extend the monopod to the length that you need, get that ninja walk going, and you now have your slider shot. It's not gonna be as stable as using a slider, but you can still get some good footage with a bit of practice. And you can also experiment with various camera mounting angles to give you even more interesting perspectives for your videos. Tip number five, the gravity tilt. This is simply a process of balancing your camera and adjusting the tilt friction to allow gravity to give you a consistent tilting shot. I really like this method of getting tilting shots because it can be difficult and frustrating to end up with jittery tilting shots when trying to control the movement completely by hand. Tip number six, the dolly. To do this shot, you simply adjust the height of the monopod to the level that you need for your shot, put your foot against the back of the base of the monopod if necessary so that it won't slide, and push the monopod forward while tilting the camera up to keep the subject in the same relative area to mimic a dolly forward. It's not exactly like a dolly since the camera is moving lower, but it's an easy way to add some forward movement to your shot. Tip number seven, the shoulder rig. For this technique, you simply rotate the monopod head 90 degrees, collapse the monopod leg as far as needed, put the leg over your shoulder, and you now have a setup where you have the freedom to easily follow your subject without the shakiness of a handheld shot. And now, here's the final sequence using all these techniques. Riley! It's Christmas! I hope this opened your eyes to some new ways of using your monopod rather than just setting your camera on it. If you want some suggestions on a good video monopod, then check out this other video on the best monopods for beginning filmmaking. And also feel free to join my private Facebook group, link below where I can better answer your filmmaking questions. And if this video was helpful, then please hit that like button and subscribe with the bell for notifications on future videos to help you learn even more about filmmaking. And with all that, I'll see you soon.